AutoCAD for Mac is a native Mac application and not a port, and that's extremely clear in the user interface. The UI in AutoCAD for Mac looks and feels very different than the UI in standard Windows. There's no ribbon, which will make some of you very happy, and our good friends the toolbars and the pull-down menus are back to stay. Let me take you through a quick tour of the user interface, along with some tips to maximize your experience with AutoCAD for Mac. Let's begin by talking about tool sets. Over on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see that I have my tool set palette made up with a variety of tools that help me execute commands. There are actually three different tool sets, drafting, annotation, and modeling, and you can switch to the different tool sets depending on what you're doing at any given time. You'll see that some of the tools have an arrow in the lower right hand corner indicating that if you hold your mouse button down that you'll have access to quite a few more options depending on the command. For example, we know that there are many different ways to draw an arc inside of AutoCAD, right? The tool set is actually made up of a variety of groups and you can see arrows off to the right hand side of the groups and if you select those arrows you'll see that AutoCAD will pull out even more tools and make them available to you. If you need to access those tools over and over again, you might decide that you want to simply lock open that group so it doesn't close back up, and it will simply stay open until you choose to unlock it. If you do a right click on any of the tools, you'll find that once again, you can switch to a different tool set, but that you also have control over which groups show up in your tool set. For example, maybe I don't want coordinates to show up, I'm greedy with my screen real estate, I can simply turn it off. I do want to show you one more option that you get when you do a right click. It's this very valuable reset tool sets. Sometimes things go terribly wrong. For example, I have played around with my tool sets so much, I just wanted to put them back to the way they were in the very beginning. That is where reset tool sets come into play. And I will warn you though, you'll have to close AutoCAD and bring it back up before you will see any results occur. All right. So what else can we do with our tool sets? Well, some of you are very greedy with your screen real estate. So you may decide that you want to collapse your tool set to the left or the right hand side of the screen and turn it into an icon. It's easy enough to get to, simply click on the icon and there's your full tool palette. Another click will make it disappear. I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to bring it back as a full palette and let's talk about these two buttons in the upper left hand corner, upper right hand corner. The left will close it and the right button is gonna minimize it, very similar to what you just saw with the changing it to an icon on the left or the right hand side of the screen. All right, let's go ahead and just once again, bring it all the way back as a palette. Let's move our focus to the upper left hand corner where we'll talk about some features that have to do with our viewport. Now there are three different categories here. This first category is viewport arrangements. The second category, the one right in the middle, those are your viewpoints and the category on the right, those are your visual styles. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select, for example, it says X-ray on this visual style and I'm gonna switch it to, let's say, how about realistic, which is gonna take my view, my current viewport in this case, my view, and it's gonna switch it to a realistic visual style, which I actually like better than X-ray. Okay, let's go to the middle column, viewpoints. This is where you can tell AutoCAD, you know, the direction that you want to view your drawing. Let's say I wanna switch it over to Southwest Isometric. I click on there and it will actually give me a slightly different viewpoint. And you can actually use the view cube of, as well over here. You can actually take this and rotate it around as well, whatever works for you. Now the first one, that little plus sign, if I click on this, this actually allows me to set up my viewports. So for example, I want to have two vertical viewports, just as an example. Now when I click on there, you'll see it actually put the same view, the identical view in both of the viewports. I love the configuration option. So let me go ahead and select this viewport configuration and go down to configure because this, this makes it you know, much easier for you to get um, three different views of your drawing very easily. I'm gonna say, how about three left? That means that the big one's gonna be on the left and the other two are gonna be on the right. It knows I'm working in a 3D setup. If for some reason it doesn't, you would just make sure that you told it that you wanted 3D views. And so this first one is isometric. The upper right-hand corner is set to the top view and the lower right-hand corner is set to the front view. I really like that. Now they're all using the realistic visual style. That's the last one I, le I left it in. Maybe I wanna change that. Let's change the visual style of the top view. Let's put that to hidden. And the visual style of the front view, um, let's just, uh, let's put that one at back to X-ray. So you can see there's quite a bit of flexibility here. You can change the viewing angles and you can change the visual style. Very, very simple. Love this setup. Makes it easy for me to get ready, get my 3D drawings all lined up. 
Okay, now we'll take a second because it has to, you know, change the visual styles and it needs to set up the viewports, but that was actually pretty fast. So don't forget these guides in the upper left-hand corner. Now I'm actually going to jump back over to another drawing that I have open because I'm going to show you one slightly different thing. If you happen to be already in a viewport like I am right here, these two categories are pretty much the same, but the very first category, that plus sign, the one that's the viewport arrangements, you'll see you get something completely different the ability to maximize your viewport. And I love this. I've loved this for years. This actually launches you over to model space and you can zoom and you can pan and you can edit to your heart's content. It will not mess up the scale factor of that viewport. That's why I love this. Now, how do you get out? Because some of you probably got here by accident. <laughs> You're like, how do I get out? Um, you'll notice there's a red line all around the display there. Just double click outside of that line and it will launch you back over to where you were. And look, see, my scale factor is exactly the same. So just want to make sure you're very familiar with those options that have to do with your viewports, all right? I think you'll find your experience with the UI in AutoCAD for Mac is going to be a great one. And you existing Mac users are going to feel right at home. Thanks for joining me.